I'm making this video because in the last video that I made for my YouTube channel, I was at, I was, I don't know, I was going somewhere to do mold avoidance and I was feeling a lot better. Well, I'm at Bear Heaven Campground right now. You know, it's about 4.30 in the morning and yesterday, well, about a week, I don't know, ago, my cooler, I don't know if it leaked or if it was condensation, but there was water. I had it on the floor behind the passenger seat under my head to kind of shore up the space between the seat and the, where the seat folded down to make a flat surface for sleeping. Anyway, it got water on the carpet in the car. And uh, I've been sleeping in the car. I sleep in the car when it rains because I don't want to get my tents Stupid, probably. But anyway, it was moldy. And I couldn't rip it up myself because it made me really sick. So this kid, this 19-year-old kid, I gave him some money and he ripped up all the carpet and all the foam in the back. And I sprayed the car down as best I could with what I call decon juice, which is colloidal silver and hydrogen peroxide mixed together. But as you can see, it made it worse. I think the mold spores went everywhere in the car. So now all my stuff's contaminated. In the world, I have this little, I have this, this mattress right here. This, um, Thermarest Mondo King mattress. And I have three blankets. Oh, I have a sleeping bag and two blankets. All my clothes are in here. Everything I own is in here. So it's probably all contaminated with mold now. I already lost everything. My home, my dog, all my possessions. And I've been pursuing mold avoidance because I was about to die because I I swelled up. My whole body swelled up and then I couldn't breathe. And so I ran out of my house. I stayed in this car at the top of Lion Mountain. That was the beginning of my mold avoidance journey. I have a video of it on my YouTube channel. And so, now I'm just at the end, right? Because my car, my one safe place is moldy. I have a tent in the roof box. I suppose I could go try to go up there and get it down and set it up. But then what am I going to sleep on? I don't have a mattress to sleep on. I don't have any blankets. It's not cold here. But... <laughs> There's tons of bugs, and it's raining off and on. I took down my tent earlier because it was going to thunderstorm, and I didn't want... Because if my tent gets wet, I don't know. So anyway... <laughs> you know, all my symptoms are back. I'm shaking my hands. Or see, there, it just did it. A little tremor. These tremors will come... My feet are swelling up. I can already feel it. That's what happened in the house. That's why I couldn't stand up for very long. So my feet were so swollen. My lips feel funny. Like they're already swelling up. So I don't know. I mean. What do I do? Do I stay in this car? And get, keep getting sicker? I just walk out into the forest. And let the bugs get me. And. Today I found out there were snakes out here that can bite you and die. Copperheads or something. But I didn't even know about them before. <laughs> you know. My mom had cancer. If she had an operation. She had radiation. And it didn't work. And it came back anyway. And they told her to get chemo. And she wouldn't do it. She... I don't know. I guess she gave up. She didn't want to lose her hair. Whatever. But she didn't do it. She's only 49. You know. My sister was 6. I was 24. I was pregnant with Seth. And she gave up. And so part of my motivation for doing mold avoidance has been I'm going to go down.